Yo, Leo, what's up? Uh, almost lost your channel today. Jason. How so? Just <laughs> YouTube couldn't handle the burbs, I guess. Oh, your cousin tried to delete it? Jeez. That's insane. <laughs> uh, yeah, speaking of burbs. Let's see. Hold on, Walter White's uh, meditating. Just give him a second. There we go. <laughs> uh, Poob, Jesse, Torontula, Wormy, Elchonk, and Jose Non. Technically, there are two birds on it at the moment. But, uh, at least two of these are only unofficial team members at the moment anyway. Torontula and Wormy are just kind of hanging out. You caught him. And he got mad. He got mad. <laughs> he got mad that you caught him trying to delete your channel. I figured you would be the mad one. This is where we get the twist that Toronto actually have awesome the Taurus. <laughs> Their names are pretty close. But we know that those uh, regional Taurus are out there somewhere. And I have a, a strong feeling that we might want to have one of those on the team. Maybe, just because, uh, you know, we have a past history with Taurus. Anyway... Pokemon Scarlet Time. Featuring the adventures of Walter White, which, uh, we didn't discuss it last time. Like, just how many people we claimed were Walter White just in lore before, just by consequence. Uh, did you rename the pig one? Yeah. It was Lechonk before, but it's Elchonk now. Like, uh, like, I know we said, uh, Bluebeard in, uh, Wolf Among Us was Walter White, because he, he looks like Walter White. But we also said that he was the brother of Pong Krell, 
Pog crowd because he shares a voice actor with them. So that's weird. <laughs> uh, Chad isn't showing. Yeah, I know it's busted. I, I, I tried to fix it. Sometimes it just doesn't want to work. I, I can't really do anything about it. The best I can do is pull up a temporary uh, little pop-out. Give me a sec. Stupid piece of garbage. What are you doing? Shut up, Combi. I can hear you over there. What the hell? Even that's not showing up. Oh, okay, so it's not Restreamio being dumb. It's OBS's browser being dumb. <laughs> that's the problem. Good to know. Yeah, seriously, the, the browser plugins just flat out aren't working. They're just invisible. That's a bug. I guess they gotta fix that. Quacks evolves into a big man with a beard. <laughs> That's true. I, I hope that does happen, but I have no idea what he evolves into. <laughs> Come be such a useless being. Why add it to any games ever? At least male Combi is. What the heck is going on here? Gr These are grunts? <laughs> and we've got uh, that one guy from My Hero Academia. Don't you get it? If you join Team Star, you can shine as bright as anybody. Oh, right. Don't listen to them, guy with EV backpack. Serious, what's with you? Don't you want to burn bright with awesome friends like us? It's like they have the same energy as that team in Gen 6. Team Flare, was it? Todoroki, that's him. This is him. <laughs> We've got a quota we're supposed to fill for new members. So just sign up already. A quota, yeah. Um, I'd rather not. Help her! Oh, sorry. I thought they looked like a little like a lady. I just couldn't tell from the from the back. Walk away. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, it, it's a girl. I I, I could kind of tell from the, when I saw him from the front. My mistake. Oh, Joshua Sullivan. Hello, what's up? How's my day going? Fine. Uh, Twitch chat's not going through. Yeah, it's not. There, there's a lot of technological garbage happening right now. Here, let's help her out. Walter White's not the kind of guy to let you know some girl get hassled. Although. Uh, it depends on the situation. <laughs> you want in on this too? You hear the sun up, we'll get to you next. We got this one in the bag. You don't got nothing in any bag. <laughs> you burn so bright it hurts to look at us. Not nah, hurts to look at you for another reason. But you knew that, right? No. Another ignorant little nobody. <laughs> Do you know who you're talking to? Oh my gosh, look at his head! <laughs> He's just watching her bounce up and down <laughs> intently. Oh, I don't think that's supposed to happen. Can't just let something like this slide. You don't have our teams on the line. We've got no real choice but to battle, yeah? That's true. You keep watching that little four eyes over there. Which one? <laughs> We're both wearing glasses. Make sure this fresh faced nobody ends up seeing stars. Yeah, the Ultra Despair Girl scheme. I forgot about that. Walter White, yo. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> That's Jesse when we send him out. The Team Star Grunt sent out. What is this? <laughs> Shrudel. Shrudel. Where can I get a Shrudel? What kind of type is it? What's a Shrudel? 
It looks poison to me. I'm gonna call them B for short. Aha! It must be poison. Bye, Shrudel. Ooh, assurance. <laughs> How come I'm the one seeing stars? Because your glasses are shaped like them. Uh, didn't get spoiled in Looper's evolution while searching for the thumbnail image, did I? No. It, it was easy to find. Urgh, why wasn't it like you were so good at battling anyway? You had one Pokemon, and it was a Shrudel. Does that mean I gotta battle this kid now since I'm higher up Team Star's ranks? I would think B would be lower than A, but whatever. Pero bueno. What do you think you're doing? Pero bueno? Ah, it's that student council dweeb. Dweeb? How can he be on the student council and a dweeb? <laughs> How can he be on the council and not be a dweeb? <laughs> Can't believe you, Walter White. Starting fights. <laughs> you have to go find randos to battle. You have all the battles you ever need with me. Oh, it was the those punks over there. Forget them. Yeah, we can't wait to find Grunt X and Z. <laughs> They're the ones at the top. They picked a fight with you? I know, right? Me, Walter White. Somebody picking a fight with me. Strange. I get it now. You two have got Team Star written all over your faces. You're no better than Team Rocket. Ah, uh, hi. We weren't not doing that. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, jeez, that guy passed right. He's in a lot of stuff, huh? That's sad. It's head of the student council. Stopping this type of nonsense would normally be my job. But now it's mine. Ultra rare gift. It's a mega evolution ring. No, it's a Terra orb. Okay, you got it for me. That was fast. Yes. <laughs> With this, the power of crystal mathematics is mine. An orb that holds within it the power to crystallize. See? Crystallize. I could have sworn it was to terrestrialize. See? It says right there. I'm glad that they did use the word crystallize, though. It just confirmed my headcanon that it was crystallization. I'm happy. With this Terra Orb, you can crystallize your Pokemon during battle. From now on, I'm never using the term terrestrialize. I'm going to say crystallize from now on. After it crystallizes, I'm pretty sure your Wooper will be... Ground type. Oh! It changes depending on who's in the front of your party. I like that. Normally, you've got to take special classes to be able to get one of these Terra Orbs, but hey, we're already well enough educated. I could teach chemistry right now. I'm time to give it a whirl. I'm going to use it faster in battle than if I just explain it to you. <laughs> Will this kid to practice wailing on us with his Terra Pokemon? Is that it? Does she have a little sound effect that plays whenever the camera shifts over to her on a battle me instead? Mm, never mind. <laughs> Either way, you're going to get curb stomp, bruh. And then we ran away, never to be seen again. <laughs> the Ginyu Force energy from these guys. <laughs> oh, it's just a young goose. Here in the Paldea region, Pokemon can crystallize through a strange phenomenon. We call it terrestrializing for no reason. Mm hmm It changes to its Terra type or its Crystal type, if you prefer. It'll be more powerful than usual. They'll get like a double stab. You won't. You wait. After it, you won't be able to do it until you heal it. That's weird. You get one use, and then you have to run over to the Pokemon Center. Okay. Let's go Crystal, baby. Man, it's right in your head. What do you get? Ah, just a big old chunk of land. He's so intimidating. Ooh, this battle music is actually really cool. I like it. Did it play during the last fight and I just didn't notice?
Yeah, you can finally get Crystal Onyx. Ooh, could have used that earlier. Well, if Onyx is in this game, which I hope he is. Yeah, that, we both thought of it at the same time. <laughs> Look at her back. <laughs> Look at her go. Oh, man. That is amazing. She's wearing high heels. Burn so bright like a diamond. Yeah, imagine the one game where you can literally crystallize your Pokemon, you don't get Onyx. Nice, Walter White. You pulled off crystallization, no problem. <laughs> Moves your Pokemon's crystal type will hit even harder when it's crystallized, you know. Which is surprising that I didn't beat that thing in one hit then. Yeah, sometimes I find a Pokemon whose Terra type is totally different. Which I have not done yet. Oh, you charge up the orb. That makes sense. Well, I'll be on my merry way then, yeah? Hasta la vista! Like a pirate? La vista! <laughs> Me too. Hasta la vista! I don't get it. Hasta la vista is already a thing. Vista! Would be, like, unconjugated, right? <laughs> Still freezing. Freezing? In what way? Like freezing cold? They hardly show up in class. Even the teachers don't know what to do with them, from what I hear. Yeah, I don't know what to do with them either. Um, excuse me. Sorry I mistook you for a guy earlier, it's just because I only saw you from behind. I'm deeply apologetic. Like it's so cold here. <laughs> Lucky you. I wish it was that cold here. So yeah, see you around. No, Todoroki, come back! Look at you, Walter White. Already becoming a big hero around campus. Not for long. Just wait till we hit anti-hero. And then hit villain mode. I don't think I've seen that girl around. Maybe she's a new transfer like you. That Eevee bag, though. <laughs> Love that fluff. Get ready to climb the worst staircase in the world. Oh well, I'd rather do a stairs than doors. I think we froze for a second, like... Oh, look at you go. Gotta get a new notebook. Come on, I can walk up the stairs, right? Why can't you? So tough. You mean me? This is the famous, tortuously uh, long staircase of the Academy. Not an easy climb, is it? Nah. Not as bad as the one in Kung Fu Panda. It is a pretty big staircase, though. What? Hey, what? I'm trying to talk to you, boy. And you too, girl. Come on. Why won't you talk to me? They're ignoring me. Boy, howdy. You too, boy. There are lots of different people in Pokemon at the school, and you're part of the variety. Oh, yeah, you'll talk to me. Boy, I said boy. Hey, Rupi, what's up? Looking forward to this? Great. Oh, Marco. Look at you marching down with that Psyduck. <laughs> Pokemon are so cool, and so are you. <laughs> Nothing's cooler than this kid. It's that kid! You mean me? What do you mean someone else? Because you're not talking to me. Speak to me! Uh, how far are you in? Not very. <laughs> Only just begun, really. Yeah, I forgot to say this when you were battling our friend B, but there's definitely a rapper named Young Goose who <laughs> sued Game Freak. You might be right about that. Or at least they considered doing it. Yeah, I've just arrived here at the Academy, so not very far. This here's the entrance hall. That Sadek is dancing. They banned Pokemon battling in the main entrance for some reason. Hmm, I wonder why. I mean, it's not like it would cause like a like a huge mess or anything. Haven't you played Pokemon Black and White? How did you find your first school commute? 
We had a blast! I imagine Miss Nimona's high spirit hoped for that. Uh, Technobulopedia might just be a lack of update on the site, but it looks like Onyx isn't in this game. If that's true, wow, they screwed up. <laughs> they screwed up bad. They better add it in, like, DLC if it's not in here. Heck, just add a full-on Crystal Onyx regional variant. You had it hand-wrapped for you, man. Well, I know how to look after my friends, right, Walter White? Speaking of which, I saw some of those Team Star kids in town, Director. You did? Where? Oh, gosh. Look at those burbs up there. Having a blast, indeed. Destroyed your antenna switch? Man, you gotta cut ties with that cousin. They're a handful. I had a cousin who destroyed my GameCube once, although that was by accident. Actually, Walter White flexed on him and ran him off. <laughs> sure did. Flexed the hell out of those guys. Of course, it's a fine thing to try and help a fellow student, Master Walter White. <laughs> Show a bit of restraint. Walter White doesn't show restraint. A child with an Eevee backpack, you say? Might have been Miss Penny. Ooh, Penny. Mr. Jacques. In class 1A, of course we are. Whoa! <laughs> Transition. I didn't expect that. <laughs> what is this, an anime all of a sudden? Oh, come on! You don't gotta have janky frame race on the kids kicking their feet! What's that about? Is that intentional? Is it a design aesthetic? I don't know. Oh, <laughs> Mr. Hammond. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I remember that. Haven't seen Foster's in a, a little bit. Actually, it was a couple months ago. I saw a little bit of it on a VHS tape. Uh, I was scanning through some old ones, and I caught an episode of Foster's, so uh hasn't been that long. Ooh, ooh, me! I want to hear the news! There are, like, kids of varying ages in here as well. I suppose I should have told you sooner. We have a new little friend joining our happy homeroom as of today. I could try a French accent with Jacques here, but I, I think I'd be bad at it. It would be too stereotypical. I wonder what they'll be like. You can come on in. That's me. By the way, I tried to change his glasses to try to resemble the color of Walter White a little bit more. Because his, his glasses are like a copper color. So I got the brown ones. Those ain't brown. It says that they're brown, but they're not. They look black to me. Sure, I'm Walter White. <laughs> My name is Walter White. Seems super friendly and fun. <laughs> yes. Oh, it looks exactly like that Persona 5 uh, Royal character you talked about. Hmm, funny. I want to be the first to ask our new friend a question. You, sir. What's your favorite thing about Pokemon? Hmm, I like battling, I like collecting, I like playing. I like battling. That's what I like. Does he say that no matter what? I have a question, will you battle me? So spill, Walter White. What do you hope to get out of it? Must have some kind of dream, right? Oh no, she's on to us. I want to complete the Pokedex. I want to be a strong trainer. I don't actually know. Hmm, maybe we should play it coy. I like... <laughs> I like to cook. <laughs> That's what I should say. Yeah, Walt and the teacher look normal in the same shot, but they're still lagging. It, it might be on purpose to try to save on uh, energy, or it could just be design. I Let's just try to keep it ambiguous for now. We don't want them to get too close to the mark. Thanks for telling us bit about yourself, Walter White. I always hated that when they made you get up in front of the class to talk about yourself. Because it's like, what do you say, man? Teach biology. Oh, cool. 
Wait, biology? Like Pokemon biology? Okay, but after the cutscene is over, the frame rates go back to normal. <laughs> we will, Mr. Jacques. En français. And I'm not even sitting. <laughs> Everyone else is sitting. I can actually take the classes. Can I take a chemistry class? I can take a math one. Where did he go? Looking for Nimona? Yeah, she's gone. She disappeared. Yeah, and look, now the legs are moving normally. It don't make sense. Ah, <laughs> uh, whatever. I was cold outside and his parents were not there. They dropped him off at your house before they were going somewhere. They suddenly went and you were getting some food. He tried to delete your channel. That sucks, man. I guess you gotta make sure to log out while he's around. Like, all right, class, since the teacher's out, I'll have to be subbing for him today. So everyone pull out your beakers and your test tubes. And your, uh... Oh, no, I forget the name of the chemical they were using to make the meth. Shoot. Get, get some of that. It's apparently, like, 10 o'clock right now. Pretty late to be starting at first class. Yeah, it's always in the back by the windows. We should be sitting, like, right here. <laughs> this is like the Monogatari seat, man. When class is in session... Yo, Walter White! <laughs> Glad to have you. My name is Skylar White, yo. Okay, so only some of them want to talk to me. The ones with bubbles. And they say... nonsense. We tend to be on our best behavior. <laughs> well, what, Nani? You want to talk to me? Of course I do. Why not? It's some of that math chemical. <laughs> yeah, I get what it's called. I'm the only character capable of cooking purple mathematics and blue mathematics and all the colors of the rainbow. All right, let's go to the cafeteria. That one dude who gave us our legendary Pokemon is in there. That's a big old Zora right there. Hi. It's full of nutri <laughs> nutrients. With two O's. What's this about other regions? Heard than other regions, people like to eat rice covered in this stuff called curry. Have you had curry before? No. But here we eat sandwiches. More combi. So we meet again, Arvin. You remember me, right? Oh, <laughs> I don't think we've met. Come on, I gave you Karadon's Pokeball. Did I forget to introduce myself? My name's Arvin. Arvin Tamzarian. No need to tell me your name. <laughs> Say my name. Yeah, not doing too much. Yeah, only jelly-filled donuts. I think, yeah, it looks like they're about to shove those combi right into the crockpots. New celebrity. Uh, what's this dream exactly? Cut your interest, have I? Nah. I'm not just gonna agree to help you with your dream. I don't know what it is. All about that picnic life. Mm-hmm. Seem more like a camper than a picnicker. Yeah, real health food. Herba Mystica. But usually herbs are bitter and they don't like them. P -p Prevent aging! <laughs> yeah, that, that seems like the real deal, huh? 
Uh, did I get the Walter White sound clips? No! Dang, I forgot to. I should have done it this weekend. I was too busy smashing pumpkins. Uh, the little DLC like Gen 8 can't get enough money out of the normal games, can they? Yeah. Titan Pokemon. Yeah, I forgot about those guys. You see, Titans... Also, there are Titans in this game. Come on, you can't get more fitting with our lore than there being Titans here. Monsters of Area Zero. Holy moly. Listen, the further into Area Zero, begin to catch glimpses of mysterious Pokemon, like uh, Don Fan over here. These huge ferocious beasts were indeed Pokemon at all. One of our teams suffered a brutal blow from such a beast and was mortally wounded by a Pokemon? Wow. Rude much from a green <laughs> Yeah, I can help you now. Nah. I really want to get those herbs for myself, but I'm not very good at Pokemon battles. No, you had a legendary Pokemon in your team, and you still sucked. And here you all up. You've got to help me out with this. It'd be perfect. Fine. Sure. Only because I'm interested in the Titans myself. There seems there might be Titans in your map app for you. <laughs> Another settlement needs your help. I'll mark it on your map. This guy's got a Flabebe phone case. <laughs> False Dragon. Open Sky. Quaking Earth. Lurking Steel. And Stony Cliff. I know what the Stony Cliff one is, but... Yeah, herbs aren't our style. We're more so on the... Yeah, the crystals, the rocks, if you will. Path of Legends! And Walter White is very specifically against the use of marijuana. A bag of stardust. Yeah, that is the most anime thing ever, the false dragon titan. That sounds like something that would be an AOT. Give the idea some serious thought, please! Way ahead of you. Ready for seconds. Meal powers. Who's saying that? Oh, there's a kid. <laughs> there's a kid behind the crock pot. I thought the crock pot was talking to me. What are you munching on? Is that a sandwich? Yeah. It's just a perfectly uh, sliced out little bit there. Hmm, I wonder what the false dragon is. Uh oh, that's my phone ringing. <laughs> Reveal your secrets, magical talking crockpot. This is Walter White, correct? Gus? I hacked your smartphone so I could talk to you. Hope you don't mind. This is totally Gus Fring. I'm sorry, who are you? Oh, it's, it's ca freaking Cassiopeia! It's a code name, obviously. Just like we're Heisenberg, this is Cassiopeia. If you want to t it's you I want to talk about. I hear you're a trainer with serious potential. This has... This has Breaking Bad energy written all over it. Tell me, Walter White. You know about Team Star, right? Yeah, I know him. Great. I appreciate you being up front here. Team Star is a group of troublemakers formed by some Academy students a while back. They caused headaches for the school and tried to bring other students down to their level. I refuse to sit idly by and let them get away with it. with a plan to bring down Team Star and force them to disband for good and murder every last one. I call it Operation Starfall. I like this. The odds to carry out this operation. I'd like you to be one of them. Yeah, I'm in. <laughs> yeah, there were nine Titans in AOT. It's perfect. Can you agree that Cassiopeia is totally Penny? You're, you're probably right. 
<laughs> they seem like the kind of person who would have the alter ego for that. Yeah, the villain team is just the school bullies who suck at being bullies. <laughs> They're a nuisance more than anything. Ah. Ah. Master Walter White. Please do try to keep your voice down if you're making calls within the school, won't you? Was I even talking? I'll be more careful. You don't want anyone else overhearing any personal information, after all. Oh, this guy's in on it. <laughs> Waiting for the next season of Attack on Titan. Team Star, you say? They're talking about them so dramatically. <laughs> They're just a bunch of ragtag kids who are trying to get people to join their group and do miscellanea. I don't even know what they're all about yet, necessarily. Uh, okay, biology, math, battle studies, math. Crystal math. You'd like mass with mass? Math with miss time. Yes, gimme. If there's one thing kids like to do, it's go to school. Let's make that in our Pokemon game. Nice to meet you. My name is My name is Time. I'll be your teacher. Do you enjoy numbers, arithmetic, and the like? Why, yes, I do. Dragonmon's the best. I can't wait to see him. <laughs> A wonderful mix. Kids who like numbers and kids who don't. Perfect for math class. This isn't a math question. This is a battle question. Walter White, you seem to be good at Pokemon, so let me ask you this. Bearing in mind that water... I don't... I almost read that as Walter, okay? If water is strong against fire. If the move water against a fire-type Pokemon, what becomes of the move's damage? It's doubled. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, that is technically a math question. Sort of. Maybe. Not really, though. It involves... multiplications, I guess? Okay, because it divides it by two, or it multiplies by two. Okay. Yeah, you see? Walter is strong as fire. That would be interesting. If Penny was a, a former boss of Team Star and then they were uh, <laughs> trying to pester her to join back up. Is that the bell? Wow, that was a short friggin' lesson. There was literally no math involved. That was battle studies, man. At least ask me 2 plus 2 or something. Or 83,605 plus 73,823. Alright, let's just try, uh, biology, I guess. Oh, or I can take math, too. Maybe I can at least get some math out of that. Do I get anything for doing this, or is it just a trivia question thing? If it's just trivia, then I feel like I'm wasting my time. My name's Jok. How many legs does a squirtle have? I told you I can't do the, the accent. That sounded more Spanish. I was trying to go for French, and I can't do it. Jeez. Get the reward of knowledge, so nothing. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Coconut average ball isn't such a great idea in some locations. Oh, no, this is a no this is not a biology question. In buildings. Duh. Because Pokemon can't be outside of in buildings. It's not like that's been the case in every single frickin' Pokemon game ever. 
Some Pokemon might damage walls, desks, and other things walking around. Just by walking around, it's not like I'm walking around with a Regigigas. If I've got like a Totodile or something, then it's not going to hurt anything. I mean, if I had like a Werelord, then you'd have a point, but... I wish I could walk together with all my Pokemon, just following me around all at once. <laughs> just try to do French and then we'll get Spanish. That's the way, we just gotta do it in reverse. To be fair, these are the first questions, but maybe they get harder. I can't say. Alright, I guess I'll try battle studies now. That Psyduck is out in, in the middle of a building, no one's calling him on that. Ooh, she has a Ryalu? Oh, so <laughs> Say hello to your battle instructor, the one, the only, the hot-blooded Dendra. She looks pretty epic. Well, so yes. Mm -hmm. It's a karate thing, by the way. It's not a Spanish thing. It's a Japanese thing. Whatever. My age? 25. My hobby? Working out. My type? Your type for what? Well. <laughs> Strong and muscular fighting types, of course. Ah, Sakura. It's also my type. That's all for my introduction. That's my class where you get to learn the nitty gritty of Pokemon battling. Just save some art of this lady. Hmm. Curious. See, someone's got a Meowth. What's that dog over there? What is that thing? It's like a fire dog or something? Ain't no Growlithe, though. Oh, apparently the Jigglypuff from above type question. Ooh, exciting. Set our fighting spirits ablaze together. I want that eye color. I think she might be related to Dio. She has the same color eyes. <laughs> With the power, type, and category of these moves. Higher power means more damage, especially if your opponent is weak to that move's type. We already went over this. Moves of light and <laughs> moves of darkness. <laughs> In Kingdom Hearts, maybe. Moves you love and moves you hate. Hey, if this were Gen 1 and 2 and 3, well, no, 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 no. There was physical and special, just there wasn't a split, so it, it still would work. In conclusion. Yes, yes, yes. No, she says raising attack and special attack equally will make it hard to strive in battle while she's standing next to a Metacham, a mixed attacker. Its whole point is that it's good at attack and special attack. You're not exactly, you know, giving us a visual narrative here. Oh, that Pokemon's called Mastiff? It's a dark type. Is that a spoiler? A little bit, <laughs> but it don't look like a dark type. It's red. Take care, you little rascals. I like little rascals. Oh, it's a tough kid. Smelly. Okay, I don't know if we need to do any more of these right now. <laughs> Never mind. Alright, let's find something else to do. Let's see. Staff meeting. So what kind of school is this? We get to pick which classes we take? Like you say, hey, I want to take this class now. Whoa! What's with the hair? Look at this. <laughs> Very well, champion Nimona. Champ- Okay, is she champion level or is she actually a champion? 
Good day, then. And those jeans back there. Oh, pardon me. I'm getting, uh, NASCOR vibes right now. Oh, Walter White, hey. Uh, you'll be more vague in the future. I would appreciate it. <laughs> she looked awesome! I can't help but say that. Hey, ladies, well, they call her La Primera. Ah. Got cool coming out of her ears. You can't even see her ears because they're covered in hair. I want to cook. I should try to reach champion rank like me. So, I, I want to know how this champion rank stuff works. I'll do it. Only to give myself more prestige. Because, as Walter White confirmed, he's in the empire business. And what better way to form an empire than to be a champion? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you have to prove yourself to get the title of champion. Are you implying you have proven yourself to the Pokemon League? This girl is a champion? You gotta take on eight gyms and win so you can collect their gym badges. The champion assessment. Once you pass that, then at long last you'll be a champion. It's every Pokemon trainer's dream. The coolest title ever, except for, like, Pokemon Grandmaster or whatever title Ash just got. Not to brag or anything. I reached champion rank during our last treasure hunt, you know. Yeah, she's a champion! She held back massively against us! And yet she had a freaking Ryalu behind her before. <laughs> Jeez. You get to leave school to go have an adventure and learn however you want. I like that. <laughs> Maybe the treasure was the, the champion we became along the way. Now yeah, we beat a champion, therefore we are a champion. We've already won. Yeah, she looks very unique with those, uh... <laughs> Let's call it boot cut. Whoa! Hey, look! It's the VTuber! She's at, uh, Levincia. Okay, look, we just got spoiled all of the different types of the gyms. You've got normal, water, bug, psychic, ghost, ice, electric, and grass. Okay, fair enough. Nothing too unique about these typing decisions, unfortunately. But, uh, I'll roll with it. I mean, I don't know if there's any unique types that they can even use for gyms anymore. I think they've done them all by now. Yeah, I know she said she's going easy on me, but she was going even easier than I anticipated. Give us some thought. Yeah, that would imply there's no normal grass or electric elite four unless they reuse them. <laughs> Is there a dark type gym leader? Yeah, uh, in a uh, in Sword and Shield, there was definitely a dark type one. I think there was also one in Sun and Moon. Now that I think about it, <laughs> calling Master Walter White to the director's office, please. Everyone's like, "Ooh, Walter White, you're in trouble." <laughs> If my memory serves me, anytime one of these messages comes up, everyone around is just like, ooh. Well, hold on. Let me talk to, to Jean's girl. See what her deal is. Hi, Jean's girl. Yeah, she has a name and everything. She must be absolutely mad. What? I, I'm sorry? I, I... Okay, she has a nice belt buckle, though. Oh, there's a dark type team star leader. Close enough. <laughs> One gym for every type. That'd be awesome. That's the history teacher. Thank you for coming, Master Walter White. You look short when you're sitting in that chair. 
Yeah, sure, yeah, why not? That's most wonderful to hear. There we go. I mean, yeah, right? <laughs> I guess it had to be in private. You did say we should keep our, our personal information a secret. Is it Cassiopeia? They're gonna show up on the TV, right? Uh, the Scarlet Academy called? Naranha. Naranha Academy. Oh, they call it something else in uh, Violet, do they? Just allow me to uh, Skype them really quick. There she is. Hello, Walter White. It's nice to meet you. Finally, we meet the Pokemon professor of this game, Professor Sada. The Great Crater of Paldia, site known as Area Zero. Sounds pretty metal, man. Oh, that is made in the abyss if I've ever seen it. <laughs> they say it's dangerous. It's just a big hole in the ground. That's made in the abyss. Vault's called a uh, uva, which is Spanish for grape. Ah, so grape and orange. I guess that that's fair. Walter White, student ID number 805C393. Our student travels with the unusual Pokemon Coridon, is that correct? Uh, yes. Just recently. Oh, Jazz is playing Call of Duty Modern Warfare. I didn't mean to offend you, in fact, I was to ask for your assistance. With what? Ah! Ah, you've met. Yes. Ah, Coridon was in, once in your care, and then stopped being in your care, and ended up in the hands of Arvin. Oh, okay. Sure, I was gonna do that anyway. Should she sound like a Stone Age person? Probably. Like some kind of female version of Gonta, is how I imagine. Which I don't know if I can even dare imitate. Yeah, specialized for mobility. I love that it's- they couldn't even render her actually on the screen in this shot, it's just like a PNG. <laughs> Cutting corners, am I right? Well, Mufflin stuff. <laughs> yeah, they couldn't actually run around the screen. They do a zoom in and pretend that it's on the screen. Oh, come on. Pokemon Coliseum had characters showing up on screens and talking in full. Come on. There's no way you guys can't do it. You totally can. She uses scientific terms but still speaks the Gonta language. Yeah, absolute headcanon right now. Sada, don't tell me you actually did it. You traveled into the abyss. Into like the seventh lair where none could return. It seems that the professor is asking quite the favor of you. <laughs> the Tron guy from Vile speaks purely in slang but sounds really fancy. Total Chad. Stuff that's actually a step back from Sword and Shield. <laughs> yeah, I do wonder. Why couldn't they have actually made her show up on the screen? I mean, obviously, they could have done it. I guess they just decided against it. Ooh, I love this lamp. What are you doing, though, Professor? Don't you know if you, if you descend too deep, you can't come back? This lamp. Every time I see a lamp like this, I always remember that I used to have one like it when I was younger. Every time. This is a cat bed. Or a dog bed. But, ooh, Pokeballs, take one! Just... Hello, excuse me. Steely, Steely. You still here, Walter White? Oof. 
Insert Roblox oof sound effect. Excuse me, uh, Messiah oof sound effect. How'd you land in that much trouble already? Hey, they are calling out on that. Nah, kidding. I know it wasn't like that. Like the Pokemon don't close their eyes when they have the sleep status condition. Okay, that's inexcusable. What? They really don't close their eyes when they're asleep? I cannot stand by that. That's dumb. Okay. That is just a very small detail that they absolutely should have done. Your dorm room. Your dorm room academia. I can have to turn on by touching the metal lampshade. I've got a few that do that. Tachan! <laughs> this is your room. It's pretty snazzy. Maybe check out your new bed. Looks comfy. They do when they sleep in the overworld, but not in battle, which is weird. That means they... They have animations for them being asleep, and they don't use them. <laughs> Gosh. That's just an oversight, if I've ever, if I've ever seen it, man. It, it's especially weird, because you can rotate the camera fully around at will, so you could turn it around and see that they're not asleep. I'm gonna hate seeing that happen. I know they basically probably would have had to have remade the battle system from scratch in a lot of ways for this. Well, not from scratch, because they based it off Legends, right? Oh gosh, the days fly quickly by. Time skip! Then the last the day arrives for your true adventure to begin. And then if the time skips over, we've got a shaved head and we've got our, our goatee going. Wish uh, the, Twitch, the Twitch chat worked again. I know. Maybe next time it'll work, but it's hard to say. Attention all students. Today marks the beginning of an important new assignment. Oh, you know what? This whole being in a school with a dorm and then having days skip by, you know what it reminds me of? Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. Specifically, uh, Explorers of Time and Darkness. It does that same thing. Where you're, you know, you're at a, you're at a, a place that's kind of like a school. Not really a school in that case, but... You've got a room, you sleep, days pass by. Reminds me of that. I like being reminded of Mystery Dungeon. It's time! It is, it's time to cook. Been waiting forever for this. Come on, let's go to the schoolyard. Okay, from in this lighting, these glasses look kind of brown, now that I look at them, but I want to get one that's a copper color, because Walter's glasses are copper. This leads to the bathroom. Make sure to keep it nice and clean. I would if I could. Would where I could, sir. Hariyama! Excellent. It seems everyone is here. Everyone's here! Except Waluigi! As usual, the theme will be a treasure hunt! No, it's a titan hunt. Search of your own treasure. My treasure is the titans. Yeah, there's that, that teacher who totally blew me off earlier. Like, hey, you're wasting your time talking to me. Pled. Soak in this rich culture. Discover the Pokemon that live here. Like those tiny Tropius over there. Were those baby Tropius? Who will you meet? What will you achieve? Your Pokemon partners will be there to help you. Aw, oh, yeah. See, those don't look that brown. I, want, I, I thought they'd be brown like my hair. That's more of like a... I don't know, maroon, I guess? That's not even right, either. Let the Easter egg hunt begin! 
While Luigi isn't even in a main series Mario game, he's not. He doesn't even have his own game. He deserves one, though. I will not rest until Waluigi has his own game. Whoa, Cyclozar. Tomoya. Tomoya. Come on, Cyclozar, we're riding out. <laughs> Transform and roll out. Take care, everyone. Remember, the Great Crit of Paladin is exceedingly dangerous. If you go in, you'll certainly die. Obviously, a frickin' meteorite or something just crashed into the Paladin region, yeah. Oh. Oh, gosh. You look a little slouchy. Gotta get a new, a new notebook. Mm-hmm. You do that. Oh well, now the Pokemon game has begun. So can we just challenge the gyms in whatever order we'd like? Because if we can, I'm in. Walter White, Walter White. Yo. It's finally starting. What do you mean by treasure? I know the answer to both of these, but I'm just gonna pick one. Fair question, since it's your first time. Walk and talk. Like in Lego Star Wars, the uh, Skywalker Saga. That's all they do in that game, is walk and talk. As the future I know exists for sure, any order for the gems, which is... I like that. I can't wait to get to <laughs> try my hand at it. You could try to beat Pokemon gems, you could help out people in need, you could hunt for real capital T treasure if you wanted even. <laughs> you could have just capitalized the T in treasure, but nah, 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 I get it. You're speaking out loud and not in text. Oh yeah, just imagine 18 whole gyms, it'd be a big game. Just have a game with multiple regions in it. Just spend five or six years making a game of that size. Oh yeah, I'm ready. This time, don't hold back, give me all you got, right now. Wait, no! Did I say the wrong thing? I wanna battle now! That's after student council president, giving your own friends an insider advantage. Yep. Hey, uh, Arvin! The insider advantage? Sheesh, make it sound like we're cheating or something. A little bit. Yeah, that's not even cheating. Of course I'm going to take out the gems. Well, it's your wife's going to have his hands full searching out Titan Pokemon with me. No, I'm not doing it with you. I'm just going to be doing it. No, I'm going alone. I don't need you. I already have Jesse with me. You could do uh, three gems and two Operation Starfall missions and some Titan Pokemon. That's pretty cool. And Sergio? <laughs> you serious? Hey, all I do is invite him along. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, and guess what? Our third invested interest is calling me. Boop. Hey, Walter White. Cassiopeia here. It's about Operation Starfall. The one I told you before. We have five individual squads. Each one's got their own base. Ooh. It's been a while since we've had villainous teams that had bases, man. I'm in. Got chills. I'll be helping you out. From a distance. Just sends in a Dragonite and just fights. Mm-hmm. So yeah, there's gyms and there's uh, different uh, squad leaders and stuff. That's pretty cool. Another settlement needs your help. I'll mark it on your map. And yep, there they are. The fairy crew, the dark crew, the fighting crew, the poison crew, and the fire crew. Yeah, essentially this game has five extra gym leaders in it then. So about 13. It's pretty cool, pretty close. Yeah, I remember the fire crew one they showed in the, the trailer where she fights you on top of a freaking car. <laughs> the fairy crew guy looks familiar. I've seen him somewhere. Starfall Street. 
Street? What street? Good luck with those bosses. I'll hook you up with some nice rewards every time you beat one. Sick, man. Wait one second. Who are you supposed to be? They're not Walter Watch problem. Yes, they are. They're competition. They're obviously <laughs> rival drug producers. Clearly. They're also trying to harness the powers of crystal math, and we can't have that. Like searching out awesome ingredients with me. This is quite the... The attention square we're in here. You were listening before the phone was even on? Did you plant a bug on one of us? How do you know my... And my words? What was that all about? Walter White, I'm glad you're making pl plenty of friends here, but trying to get dragged into anything dangerous. Too late. Anyway, no more weird vibes. We've got a big adventure to start. Gonna battle every single Pokemon trainer I meet. Including me. I mean, if you're champion level, you should already be pretty close to the strongest, right? Also, wait, if she's champion level, she should have already beaten the gyms. I guess she's just gonna fight them again? Oh, that's a neat looking one. Oh, and I know you've been running our mouths, but... Sure call what you do, Walter White. Treasure, my very own. For me, it's gotta be my... <laughs> what was he gonna say? You gonna make me a sandwich with those herbs that halt aging? What'd you come out for? <laughs> Sword sandwich. Yeah, that'll be in the anime. Oh yeah, hop aboard. How to ride. So yeah, is he only rideable and I can't battle with him, at least not to like the end of the game? Hop aboard, Mr. White. Hop aboard, Mr. White. And yeah. Now it really looks like some kind of weird Cyclozar. So does it not evolve from Cyclozar? I don't know. You can go print anywhere. Paladia's your cloister. <laughs> it sure is. The Grand Cloister. You can search for those Titan Pokemon. I'd say set up from the East Gate. Since Waltwide has actually had to take out some gyms, I'd say go for the West Gate. From the Great Eastern Gate to the Great Western Gate. Yada yada. But no, we need to go north or south if we want to check out the... the Team Star peeps. Yes. The treasure hunt has begun. It's just play the game, basically. It's not like we have to pick just one treasure. We do all of them. History class and home ec. Mass outbreaks. What the frick does that mean? Oh, gosh. I just saw them phasing in and out of reality. They've got a musician. And I can actually hear them playing. That's a detail I did not expect. Come on out, Pood. Oh, by the way, when searching up the name Pood just to see if uh, it might have meant anything, it's a actually a a, a, a a unit of measurement in Russia. Apparently, it's about thirty-six point one pounds. So uh, Pood officially weighs thirty-six point one pounds. Just uh, officially making that a thing. Also, I guess he's Russian, then? Okay, so, they said... Uh... East for Titans? I believe? Oh, wait, he's Poob, not Pood. Was it Poob or Pood? I always forget. Oh, wait, that's right, it's Poob. His name is very similar to it. My bad, I got it mixed up. Uh, gonna do them in a specific order? I have no idea. Guess I'll just do it at random. I think I searched Pood, but his name is Poob. <laughs> I got it mixed up. Dupe. He's almost Russian. 90% Russian, close enough. I'm still going with it. You can't stop me. 
Oh, look, Naranas. But it's so good. <laughs> Jeez. So, do I have to heal since I uh, crystallized earlier? Did you know? You can crouch and sneak up on Pokemon. That might be useful. Oh, hey, Arvin. Ah, Stony Cliff is first. That's the only one I know where it is. I mean, I know what it is. Oh yeah, if you ever fall off a cliff, just call a flying taxi. If you find a titan, let me know. And clearly, the power of the titans is what we need right now. Titans always end up being involved in our lore. Don't know why. Pikachu! Wow, Pikachu actually made us cry! I thought they removed Pikachu's cry in, like, Gen 6. I hadn't heard it in a while. <laughs> I got a pickle! I got six pickles! And six eggs! Amazing. I'll do that later. I'll let my pickles on the way. Oh, the Urban Dictionary of Poob. Yeah, that'll- HA! Mushroom! Knuckly. A person who participates in poop activities and exhibits poop behavior. That's not a definition. I bet it's rock type. We might kill it. No, let's just go for it. Mudshot. Oh, yeah, he used it on me. It's ground. Not rock. Maybe it's rock ground. Let's find out. Yeah, okay. Or maybe it's not even ground. It's possible, but let's get poop out of here. And put in, uh, Jose, because, uh, ground-type moves can't hit him. Uh, there's an Eevee in that seat in Violet. Ah, oh, that's cool. Oh, yeah, leave Bug-type for last. Totally, that should be the last gym leader. 100%, we're doing that. Okay, let's catch this thing. Makuhita! Okay, sorry, I just saw Makuhita running around. Yeah! And those, uh... Shinks over there were cheering us on. Uh, there was this time when he had a huge debate with this chat over the pronunciation of a character's name from some weird Ewok cartoon. Is that a Star Wars lore for Poob? That's perfect! The rock salt Pokemon. <laughs> but why is he a mushroom? Uh, I was born in the layer of rock salt deep under the earth. Deep under the earth. Series was, uh, species was particularly treasured in the old days as it would share precious salt. <laughs> precious salt, indeed. And yeah, we could do normal seventh. And yes, of course, I'm using Paladin Mooper. I have to. He's the resurrected Boop, our hero who saved us in, uh, Shining Pearl. The debate was Ploob? Which one versus Poob? That's amazing. <laughs> what are the chances? He's part Ewok, then. Some kind of Russian Ewok. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to call this uh, lady. I'm surprised it's gendered. I don't know why. I thought it wouldn't be. Uh, should we reference Luigi since we already did in the stream? Maybe. I mean, I thought we referenced Waluigi, but... Either way, <laughs> we should, we should. What should we call it? Some kind of Mario reference, right? Because it's totally a Mario mushroom, if you look at it. To watch the Doug Doug video? Probably. 
Named Wooper Splump. <laughs> it's just fun to name Wooper things like that. Splump, Boop, you know, it's just to have fun. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to call it. Loogie. As some people called Luigi, Loogie. Oh, Toad or Dayot backwards. <laughs> also good. I like those. Uh, Harden, Rock Throw, Mud Shot, and Smackdown. That's actually a pretty good starting set. Called your Salty. <laughs> also good. It's pretty lax, very finicky. How is it lax and finicky? That don't make sense. Wasn't feeling very creative. That's cool. <laughs> That's all right. 710. I'll at least watch that part. Watch the rest of it later. Yeah, Poob is a freaking Ewok from... Well, I guess Pooh wasn't an Ewok. He's whatever the frick this thing is. Alright. Don't care. Loogie. <laughs> Seems like a thousand times in that day. Yeah. Alright, Loogie. You can uh, go to the box for now. Going from Ploob to Poob. Do believe Ploob won. I'm gonna stay with Poob. I don't care what they say. <laughs> like when you hack up Flem. Yeah, a little bit. But it's just a reference to the fact that, you know, a lot of kids in the 80s and stuff growing up thought Luigi's name was Loogie. Why am I crouching? Stop crouching. Get up, Walter. Okay, there. So many shinks. Look. Does this thing have feet? Or is it just kind of hopping around? Yeah, it's just hopping around. Really? Yes, genuinely. Like, some kids just seeing Luigi's name written out thought it was pronounced Lugi. It's, uh, pretty common. Happini! It must die! Yeah, the Super Show cleared that up pretty fast. <laughs> Hey, Jazz, what's up? Missed half of the stream again? That's all right. We've, we've only just really gotten into the meat a bit. There was a lot of story stuff going on. We did catch a mushroom, though. <laughs> I've witnessed uh, a couple things in technical terms already. Heard about a few others. Uh, did I try eating something? Not yet, but I've, uh, I've seen... The animations, and, uh, yeah. Uh, stop using defense curl. Doesn't matter, this is a special attack anyway. We're standing on top of a rock right now. I really think Game Freak doesn't know how to make games. Well, I don't know if they know how to make 3D games. Oh, you just copied my mud shot. Their experience was always working on handhelds with 2D games for the most part. I think they just have been biting off more than they can chew ever since they started Gen 6. In some ways, anyway. It's like, I know they know how to make games because they've done it. They've made really great games, but... Maybe less so with uh, 3D console games, but... <laughs> I like you, Makuhita. But I've used enough of you lately. I mean, really, the only ones that don't run good... I mean, so far, basically, it's um, this one and Sword and Shield a little bit, but... 
It's because those are on the Switch, and they just don't seem to know how to handle it. Great ball. A cave. To Artisan. But that's in the opposite direction. Okay, for a second, I thought there was like a Dark Souls fog wall there. I mean, the lag when it's rotating might be the stream, but... <laughs> Dusk Ball. And then another Shinx Parade. And uh, the laggy animations is definitely intentional. Probably to try to cut down on a uh, performance, you know? Well, no, to cut down on the, on the game running slow. TM. Water Pulse. Sick, man. When you rotate... Oh, the mini-map. Yeah, the mini-map is laggy. Which could be on purpose. A lot of things could be on purpose. Just super potions everywhere. And a ladder. Try cutting. Try, try climbing a couple of ladders. Why not, right? All right, hop aboard. I've got wheels, but I don't use them. Ooh, a trainer. One second, sir. Allow me to auto heal. <laughs> Everything. Everything's on purpose. Yeah, I remember talking about the, the shopping bag thing. Miguel, the student. Crab Brawler! Hey! A Pokemon that I used in... Uh, look at that Rookie D just watching this. I used it in uh, Sun and Moon. Crab Brawler. It's fighting, primarily. I think it also has a little bit of water in there, too. So this might be a bad matchup. In which case, what do I send out? Wormy? Jesse? Jesse. Jesse! Only fighting. Okay, yeah, I was mistaken. It becomes part ice later. I always looked at this thing and thought it was water. Because it's a crab, but it's not. Alright, wing attack. Ouch. Curse my lack of flying type. Level 12, too. This thing's no joke. Did he just snap his fingers and he used vice grip? I know. Coconut crabs live outside of water. I, I, I'm always stupid enough to think this thing would be water type. Even years later, I still haven't <laughs> fully memorized that fact. Jesus! If it's just fighting, El Chonk would be bad. Jose would be fine. You would at least resist its fighting type attacks. Well, no, you don't, because you're part normal. Shoot! I would not say that Crab Brawlers is bad. Its evolved form kind of sucks. I wish it was cooler. Ha! Big Pex! How does Big Pex prevent my defense from being lowered? Unless it also means Big Pex, as in our Pex. On our chest are big. Maybe. Didn't you choose the grass starter? No, I chose the water. You might be thinking of somebody else. <laughs> Aqua Jet. Okay, glad I didn't teach Water Pulse, because I would have wanted Aqua Jet anyway. Maybe? Um, um, okay, you're attacking your special attacker equal, so it doesn't matter. Ask for advice. From Jesse?
Yeah, it would be pointless to teach it uh, Bubble Beam. <laughs> that clapping sound. Uh, they nerfed Intimidate, really? In what way? How could you nerf it without just removing its effect entirely? I think that's a solid question. Uh, saw the clip in Discord? I believe so, unless you sent another one recently. Yeah, that one, I remember. Mm hmm. It only works the first time the Pokemon is sent in the battle instead of every new Pokemon. Oh, that is very nerfed. Oh, yeah, the one from the stream. I completely forgot about that. Where they T posed, right? But it's, like, really hard to see. It's hilarious. <laughs> I can't believe I didn't notice it when it happened. Well, actually, I can believe it because it's so hard to see. But still, that's, that's, that's amazing. Full-on ball on Wonder World, but at least not as noticeable. Yeah, since it's in the fade to black. I gotta hand it to him, at least it wasn't up front and center like the Ball on Wonderworld one. Where it's so blatantly obvious that it that you see them T-pose. What the frick is that? Whoa! It's a Terra Jigglypuff! Can't catch it while it's crystallized, huh? You can reduce its HP to break through it. Okay. It's water type. Well, that sucks <laughs> for Poob here. When did you get toxic spikes? Oh well. It's 14! Get us out of here! Okay, uh, we resist that at least. Sing. Ah. Poo! <laughs> oh, dang it, Poob! I was hoping you'd fall asleep so I could see us, you know, not being asleep. Okay, come on, let's see it. <laughs> Poob is trying to shield us. Didn't get any T-posing in your game. Hmm. Ah! Okay, that wasn't enough to break it out. Okay, chonky boy. Let's let you do this. I mean, I'm sure it happens in every game. It's just, it was really hard to notice. I'm surprised that you caught it. Very observant. What? What? You, where was that? You could have roasted me with that move. Maybe not roasted necessarily, but you get what I mean. Ah, oh, dang, nab it! Poor Chonky Boy. Okay. Uh, bleh, I don't know. Yeah, I guess you have to turn up the brightness really high to see it. Rap. I know that doesn't do much, but maybe it can whittle it down is what I'm hoping. You idiot. I'm water type. That still did a lot. 10 damage. Ooh, yeah. The latent damage was actually pretty decent, man. If he uses something other than Water Pulse, it'll probably kill us. Uh, I don't know why it's named Lechonk. Isn't there something like a Lechon or something that means something? Yeah, Suckling Pig, that's right. Thank you, seven revives. Let's, uh, just bring back the Chonky Boy, I guess. I don't know. I 
freaking knew it. That means the rap's gonna get disabled. But Chonk is still gonna get owned. What was I thinking? Bringing him back. Okay, fine. Tarantula, I guess. Let's try it. Yeah. Sean's uh, the roasted pig. Tackle it. I can't believe I live in a universe where I'm getting owned by a Jigglypuff. Like, very much owned. Okay, uh, no potion. But Sean did at least decent damage on his first shot, I think, right? There for a frame. One frame. Dang, that's bad. Just barely there. This Jigglypuff is the greatest boss I've ever faced. And Sing, I guess they nerfed it even harder or something because it has not hit us at all. Yeah, I gotcha, boy! I'm gonna catch it just because this thing was a pain in the butt. Uh, gonna keep LeChonk for now? Could name it, uh, Cut the Book of Deal. I could. I named it El Chonk because, uh, it's not French, it's Spanish. So it should be El instead of Le. But, uh, once I encounter the name raider, I could change it. What? Ah, the name of the, the sandwiches. That would be a good idea, though. I like that. Yeah, I gotcha. Da, 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 da. I missed the old catch jingle. Mm-hmm. Huge eyes waver. It sings a mysteriously soothing melody that lulls its enemies to sleep. Lull, indeed. Alright. Well, this is a water Terra Jigglypuff. So what is it, a water balloon? <laughs> I mean, it is a water balloon, but I don't know if we can just name it water balloon. Uh, good thing you chose the best looking starter. I did. <laughs> I mean, in my opinion, it is. The fire one doesn't even look like a Pokemon. <laughs> I think it does, at least. I think it at least looks like a Pokemon. If only... You mean Final Evos. Oh, okay. I haven't seen them, so I have no idea. But, uh... It's so bad. <laughs> yeah, sad. Siren. I see. Oh. I like that. Yeah. That's cool. Let's call it Siren, then. Oh, yeah. It should be the, uh, the other eye. Just to add to the... To the flare. Siren. <laughs> it's brilliant. <laughs> it's the best one. <laughs> ah, opinions. This one just... And it comes with... I didn't even know Jigglypuff could learn Water Pulse. Competitive. It boosts its special attacks sharply when its stats are low. Oh, no wonder we were getting wrecked. Because we probably lowered its its stats, didn't we? <laughs> Competitive Jigglypuff. Wow. This thing's a beast, man. If people say it looks like a clown, then I think it's then I would probably think it's awesome, so <laughs> there's that, but I would just name it Ronald McDonald, and then be happy. A twig. Oh wait, <laughs> I thought the shiny thing was the twig. Twas not. Sparkle, sparkle. All our Pokemon are freaking dead. Sombrero. 
I mean, they're similar looking hats in Spain, but if it looks like a sombrero, then they, I guess they messed that up. Ah, Starling. Classic cry. We're gonna get owned. We saw underground. Doesn't matter. Well then who do I send in? Jeez. I don't have I don't have good enough coverage for this. I should put in my rock Pokemon. Get rid of like Tarantula or something. It it does look like Moist Critical. Is Starly the best regional bird? I think I can agree with that. I don't know, maybe Pooh can take it if we just, uh, tackle it. Maybe tail whip it a couple times. It's not like it's good against us. Take up for attack. Whatever. Yeah, I, I think in a battle of attrition, we got this one. Oh, Straptor is awesome. Ha! Poison point, sucker! Spanish Charlie. I mean, he's got the long hair and he's got the, the facial hair. It's pretty Charlie. So are some flying type Pokemon going to be fighting on the ground? I hope they're not all still in the air because I don't like that. We're all bruisy and loosey. Okay, I'm glad they still have the quality of life change to let you just grab any Pokemon you want. Okay, let's just take out Wormy. Wormy is a, is pretty redundant for the most part. We've already got water coverage. Let's just have Lugie in here. If not, they're all going to fly. I mean, it's like they had idle animations before, but technically, because they're on the ground when you encounter them in the wild. Some of them, anyway. And they have idle animations when you, like, uh, picnic with them, I assume. Uh, can't you revive all your Pokemon by putting them in the box? Probably not. Since they let you access the box from anywhere, they probably don't heal when they're in the box anymore. Okay, for sure there's one that does, which, if there's any, I'll take that as a at least a minor win. How do I get there? Can I jump? Oh jeez. Oh golly. Okay, I can jump. Sweet. There you go. Come on, Karadon! You got this, man. I believe. Come on, I'm mashing that jump button and it's, it's failing me. Badly. Jeez. Okay, let's just get back higher and see if I can just jump straight across. I highly doubt it, but it's worth a try. Yes. And I got a pee pee it. It's like, I know that it doesn't heal them in the box because I just pulled Lugi out of there and he was already damaged. So it definitely does not heal them. Watch, I can try to confirm. In the box. Out of the box. And yet, nothing. I mean, that would be a little too broken <laughs> if they let you access the box anywhere. And let you heal at the same time. Hmm. 
Okay, I didn't just go back the way I came, did I? Oh, well, if I was here before, I would have fought this, this trainer. Oh, sure, let's go. Martina. Looks down at her Pokeball and hope. Arokuda. You're a water type, which means we're in trouble. <laughs> I'm in danger. I also have no coverage for water types. Okay, Jesse, come on out. I need a grass type or an electric type or something. I've already got a bird. I don't need to catch uh, a Corviknight. That's true, I could have a Shinx, although I, I did just use one in Shining Pearl. I mean, I could have it just to, to use temporarily. They added a natural enemy for Corviknight? Interesting. I don't know if I've seen them yet. I wouldn't have thought Corviknight was even in this one because they, they don't use the, the flying taxis. Those parrot things did. But yeah, there's a... Uh... There you are. This is definitely Corviknight. Pika. Here, let's just let's try a picnic. Why not? And it healed me. That was not a picnic. That was just us sitting down and healing. Fair enough. <laughs> Guess that's basically the same thing. Am I right? Yeah, I think I did end up going back the way I came, didn't I? Maybe. I don't know. Maybe I should go over there where that shining geyser is. Or where that shining geyser is, because it's closer. Woo! Full heal. You a trainer? Yep. Dun 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 dun. Oh. Dun dun da da dun. That's what he means. What she means. Sorry, Alicia. I, I, I didn't get a good look at you up close. Maybe to Alicia. Definitely possible. Oh, whoa, that fighting pose. <laughs> Getting ready to square up. Uh, a certain Pokemon targets it while it flies, so it's too much of a risk to carry people. Wow, it's crazy. Rookie D. I said its name earlier, I just forgot what it was. <laughs> Sing. Again, wow. Is its accuracy just 10 now? Once she runs out of Pokemon, she's like, <laughs> it's not over yet. Just runs up and uppercuts him. Ooh, Elchonk got Mudshot. I've got like three Pokemon that know Mudshot now. Another round of dun dun da da dun. So many Shinks. They're like, hey, if you need an electric type, here you go. Mm-hmm, you're the league rep. We defeated four trainers. Is that enough? I need to beat six. Okay, okay, okay. I can do that. I can beat six trainers. Mm-hmm. 
Is that some kind of ice cream advertisement? Because I want that. Well, I thought that Luxray should be dark electric. I agree. And we're not the only ones who think that. There was a ROM hack I played uh, that added Luxray to Gen 3 games, and they made it uh, dark electric in that game. Floatstone. <laughs> oh, phone call. Phone call, Mr. Plankton. It's Arvin again. <laughs> Maybe it's on a cliff. Nah. Maybe the Stony Cliff Pokemon is on a cliff. Probably not. Battle me, for I am mighty. If you say so. Whoa. <laughs> I have given my Pokemon a mighty item to hold. And I am mighty. There is a big crystal thing over there. Severino, the office worker. I don't know how I feel about these new ways of referring to trainer classes. Oh yeah, just making a team of Pokemon that are blue, like the blue meth. That is a good idea. I should probably shoot for that as close as I can. Well, 17! He is mighty! And we are screwed. Let me just throw down some toxic spikes. It's defense, Rose. And special defense. That's how stockpile works, you know. Poop can be the exception. Definitely. We gotta have poop. Now, if we throw Toxic Spikes again, it'll badly poison whoever we hit next. Or we die! That works too. One charged up spit up annihilated us. We might lose this fight, guys. Just, uh, I'm just gonna prepare you for that now. Holy moly, okay. Okay, Jesse! Luxray would be blue, but again, I did use a Luxray just in the last Pokemon game we played through, not counting Colosseum. Now would be a good time to Terrastalize and just pwn it with Aqua Jet. Ah, you're off, Rupee. That's alright. <laughs> you have a happy Thanksgiving as well. Which reminds me that I probably won't stream tomorrow because it's Thanksgiving. <laughs> and then I would just stream on uh, Friday instead, like I did with uh, the last stream. Did nothing! And it's still gonna do nothing because it's gonna stockpile and get even stronger. Yeah, clearly the Jigglypuff are the known ancient defender of the chances. They have sworn to son of a gun to protect them. How much? Okay, not that much. I was going to say, if it fully heals it, we're dead. Oh, Jesse. I could use work up and it would make us stronger, but... Good round. Bag nab. It's like 19 damage. It nearly two-shot us. I mean, with a little bit of damage variation, it could two-shot us, probably. If we survive this next shot, though, we win. Guaranteed. Yes, okay, good. No damage variation there. It's 19 both times, I think. What is going on back there? Skiddo. Skiddo. That's the goat thing, right? If it is, uh, Jose. I wonder why they gave up on uh, Mega Evos. I know, Mega Evolution was awesome. Everyone loved it and they're like, ah, nah, screw that. Let's just keep adding, you know, whole new mechanics every time. No reason, yep, Skiddo. Get poison, Skiddo. Yeah, even with the mathematics enhancement, it was still devastating. And this still won't be easy because, uh, Oh, dang, it's already been an hour and 50, 50 minutes? Time. What was that? 
Leftovers? This guy's not kidding! Thank goodness we poisoned it. Because otherwise, uh, we would be in trouble. Big trouble. I mean, we're still in big trouble, no matter what. We can't wait for the poison to finish it off, because, uh... The... The leftovers is gonna negate it every time. <laughs> this guy is mighty. Yeah, Severino. We gotta... We gotta... Write that one down. Uh, I was in the middle of saying, like, ten seconds ago, that, uh... One of my headphones died. And it's because it's nearly been two hours and I didn't realize it. Time sure has been flying with these Pokemon screens. I guess we're having fun. And it being so open world, uh, leaves us with a lot to do. But at least now that we've gotten the introduction out of the way, we can just get right into the meat of it for the next stream. I think our peck is stronger than our, uh, ember, so I should be using that. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's definitely stronger. Okay, I think the poison actually does do slightly more damage than the, uh, the leftovers does. I think. Yeah, exactly. You noticed it as well. Growth. Right? I wish it, it just actually made the model grow instead of just stretching, but I get it. Uh, do I have a Titan I want to go for first? I mean, technically it wants me to do to go for the Stony Cliff one first, but I don't have to. I'm not sure which one I would want. I mean, I'm, I'm interested in the Dragon one, but that's probably pretty tough. Yeah, we, we're just on the, the same brain side. I don't know what to think about that, but it's what's happening. Got a dragon to moon. You could do it first. That would be awesome. I think that's why they picked mostly pretty uh, normal types to make the gems, because you can do them in any order. Oh, would you look at that? Crystals. Yep. All around Paladin, you may spot gleaming crystals emitting brilliant beams of light. If you investigate one, you'll be able to do a Terra raid battle. Yes, indeed. Uh, that's a shelter. <laughs> uh, we would not want to face a shelter with Poob, necessarily. But who would we want to face it with, is the question. A chonk, I guess. Yeah, we should look at the list, but first, let me challenge, uh... Oh, is it gonna be with people online, or is it gonna be randos? <laughs> I mean, either way it'll be randos, but you know what I mean. There's a link code. Hey, anybody wanna join in? Pull out your copy of Pokemon Scarlet and Violet! Ah, <laughs> uh, if only Rupee was still here. I don't know if we could take it alone, is the problem. So, I, I mean, I would just have to hope that somebody either, it'll... What? I'm in offline mode, duh. Okay, hold on. I, was, I forget I have to turn it into online mode. Oh, but at least it charged my orb. How do you go into online mode? I forget. Uh, like this. There. Now let's do it. Let anyone join. <laughs> there we go. Why does he even give me the option to challenge as a group? When I can't... I'm not, when I wasn't even online. Only to imagine those people joining, only to see Walter White leading them in the battle. Oh, that'd be awesome. I said anyone can join, so that means technically we've got two, like, nearly three minutes for somebody to hop in randomly, right? So we'll see if they do. That'd be awesome. Audacity, where are you at?
Yori. Okay. Whoa! Who's the the chick with the hammer? And there's a oh, it's a Cerule Edge. We could get spoiled to future Pokemon with this. <laughs> I'm okay with that. Okay, let me change my Pokemon real quick. Okay. I'm not ready to go yet. I'm gonna wait for a fourth person. There we go. Chippy Clash with whatever that is. <laughs> I'm going to avoid looking at it too closely to in case I get spoiled. Some kind of dragon. I don't know. Alright, let's start. Oh, wait, now it's a Cerule Edge. I don't know what it was, though. <laughs> Spoilers? Okay, I didn't, I didn't even... I took, like, a brief look at it. Don't know what it was. But now it's a Cerule Edge, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> And now Jazz is playing God of War. Whoa, Walt. He sees the brilliant power before him. It's an electric shelter! Of course it is. It was an electric... thingamabob. No, no, no. Remember, they swapped it to Cerule Ed, so we won't see it. Okay. Gigaton Hammer! <laughs> Whoa, they're destroying it! Okay, guys. My turn. <laughs> Okay, let's throw a uh, great ball at it. Oh, look at that face. I got a... Oh, that's next thumbnail. Big time. Look at that. That was awesome. Imagine all this drama, and then we just fail at catching it. <laughs> Whoa, nope, nope. Was that like a super catch that we just got right now? Or does it always do that? Oh, gosh. Yeah, maybe another uh, vowel instead of O there. Golly. Harder than diamond. However, it's surprisingly tender, despite the fact that its shell is harder than diamond. Uh, goodbye, bye, valve. Okay. Shatter da. I guess with Jazz playing God of War, she's probably not uh, here to nickname this thing right now. But I don't know what I would call a shelter. Again, we probably shouldn't necessarily use it in long term, because it, it, again, we have its type covered. So many water types. Ah, that we should do the electric gym first because of that. Hey, and that's the VTuber one, so uh, honestly, I think I'm uh, I'm on board for that. Look at that, it's exactly 12 right now. That's uh, one thing to end off with, I guess. I don't know what I'm going to call it. Mmm... It's true, we do know what Cloister looks like, a couple of things, but that doesn't help us. <laughs> I mean, it certainly does not <laughs> help us find a name. Just call it Chonk or something. Alright, I'm just gonna give in and just call it, uh... Benny. There, whatever. I would only use it briefly as like some kind of back pocket electric coverage, but well, no, it's Terra type electric, but it doesn't know any electric moves. And it can't learn any because it's a freaking shelter. So unless I give it like the Terra beam attack, that's not going to help us either. Oh well. Hmm. 
cool. I keep forgetting. I don't even know what's making me crouch. Sometimes I just crouch and I don't know why. But, uh. The Path of Legends. Yep, that's where the that one dude is. Okay. There's the the abyss. That's Victory Road. At the Medali Gym. The exceptional everyman. It's the normal gym. We're doing that one of the last ones. Something mysterious over here. There's the Asado Desert. Desert. The the Quaking Earth one is there. The Sky one is there. Oh, these are all part of Victory Road. Duh. Yeah, all the gyms are part of it. Where is even the electric gym? Ah, there it is. That's not that far away. It'd actually be a pretty good first candidate for a gym leader. <laughs> Use Terrabeam against this gym leader's level 10 Pokemon. Yeah, that'd be busted. Whoop. Okay, yeah, it's B to crouch. That's fair. Hyper Potion. Little overkill. Lit Leo Tuft. There's Lit Leo Tufts. Oh gosh, I thought that Makuhito was about to run up and just deck that spoink or just pull the, the crystal off his head. The only problem is it for Quack, so yes, but I do have Poob. And I do have Mud Slap. Yay. Yeah, Poob is gonna hopefully help us solo that. Uh, ah! Uh, gem. We would have to basically rely on Poob exclusively because our the rest of our Pokemon are not good for that. Like, not at all. I'm gonna steer him so bad. Hasty mint. Okay, uh, Poob's dead. So, Lugi? We haven't fought with Lugi, so, uh, let's put you up front. And we'll, we'll end things off battling this kid. The Rock Mushroom called again? I call it Lugi. I don't remember what his actual name is. Does the Chonky one have mud moves? He does! He has mud slap. Benjamin! Ben 10. Hey, he's got the god! And I picked a rock type. Alright. Okay, Jose, back out. Yeah, he's ready. <laughs> I can't wait till one of our Pokemon gets a high enough level to evolve. That should be happening pretty soon, right? I mean, Jesse needs like a like a small amount, right? Bonsly, ooh, that is a rock type, huh? Ooh, now I know it's a rock type. So Jesse, get out of here. Poor fool, Bonsly is not a class type. And then it sends out a regional variant that is no. Nah. You know what? Have some water. Wonder how hard El Chonk's evolution would be to accept. It won't be the same. Yeah, it's like what happened with uh, Choodle in uh, Sword and uh, Shield. I was like, I like Choodle, but I didn't like his evolution as much. Ah, I knew you would survive that. Wow. Okay, well. I'm not trapped in here with you. You're trapped in here with me. Just making that clear up front. About the terrestrialize and the grass on you. I know, like, there's a grass gym leader who does that with the pseudo wudo. They showed it in one of the trailers. Which I respect them doing, by the way. Jesse can no longer escape. Oh, gosh. That 
That hits hard, man, with, with Breaking Bad. Oh, that is terrible. Okay. Kick that Makuhita's butt. Kick his butt. Not a lot in the way of experience, but a lot of things here are rock types and stuff, so you can take them. Fox lights right here! Jesse! Smooth. A Nakli. That's how you say its name, right? Well, Nakli, I don't know. Whew! Almost slid right into that hole. Ah! <laughs> Freaking young goose! Five star one level for life. And grinding is much easier now that we can just uh, let them go out and fight things willy nilly like that. I think you get less experience out of it. Yes, yeah, slightly less maybe, but. Well, it was about the same. Like, especially if everything around is something your Pokemon is good against, you'll just destroy them. What? Oh, is that a Skiddo over there? Yeah, it's a Skiddo. Okay. Let's fight this mushroom so we can level up the old-fashioned way. In battle. Oh, that Makuhitas. <laughs> yeah. I'm not flying type, you idiots. If I was, I'd be dead, but... That's one moment I'm grateful to not be flying. That's true, it is grass. And I've never used a Skiddo. Maybe I should catch it. Oh! Jesse's evolving, baby! I haven't seen his mid-form. Now that's a good way to end off. Look he flips his hair one last time. Ah, not bad. Quaxwell. Quaxwell. <laughs> like Maxwell. I like it. Constantly run through shallow water to train their legs. Then uh, compete with each other, see which of them kicks most gracefully. Oh, it'll become like a Blaziken thing. Uh, Skid Row. I'm aware of Skid Row. I know of it anyway. Oh, hey, it's Scream King. What's up? <laughs> I saw like a weird Pokemon I've never seen before over here. What is that? It's a cricket! Look at it! Look at it! <laughs> Nimble! Is it like a, a pun on symbol? Nimble symbol? Oh, critical hit! I wanted to catch that nimble, man! <laughs> Jesse Quaxwell. Big brain. I wasn't gonna use it, but... Look! It's this guy! Holy moly! It's Gimme Ghoul! I got his coin. Yeah, Jesse wanted the Jesse. <laughs> Jesse wanted to show off his math powers. Okay, yeah, it makes sense. He can't fly, so he's gonna specialize in his uh, powerful legs instead. Good thinking, Jess. Okay, let's uh, switch Jose out. Let's catch a Skiddo. Just so we can have a grass type, maybe. You know, just throw it on the team. Might be uh, beneficial. Let's use our slightly weaker ember on you. There we go. Uh, here to catch the adventures of the new Walter White. <laughs> well, strap yourself in. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Big packs. Our packs are way too big. Uh, ever used a go-go? Nope. Oh, and a critical hit again! Son of a gun! Ah! You've got to be fucking kidding me! I don't want faint. Screw faint. <laughs> Dang it! There's no other skiddos for like five miles! Yeah. 
We just keep critting everything. Where are all these crits coming from? Ah, there's one. Go. <laughs> it's running away. Get it. Okay, anybody got any name suggestions? Yeah, let's just get this out of the way fast. Okay, I'll use two embers, and then I won't push my luck at that point. I think the game's AI doesn't even know that they changed the effect of big packs. And you're always getting crit when you don't need them, nor want them. Jesse's entering that stage where he's just fighting back really hard like he was in the, the freaking show, man. Skid Row is the only thing that comes to mind. The one place in California that's red on maps. Wonderful place. Let's call it Skid Row. It reminds me of a character I made up with a similar name. The Mount Pokemon. But we can't mount a Skiddo. We can only mount our Miraidon. No, that's the other one. Uh, Koraidon. Mm-hmm. Down on Skid Row. Let's add it to our party. I haven't used the Torantula a lot, so, uh, welcome. We'll use you for now, just, you know, because there's a lot of water types around. You'll be useful for that. Ah! And now it's just another Skiddo. Okay, I, I overreacted before. There's Skiddos everywhere, man. I uh, love Mutahar's stories about it. <laughs> They're great, I'm sure. For sure. Just trying to look around and see if there's anything in viewing distance we can grab. Yeah, there's one thing down there. Let's get it. Go back up. <laughs> I love this. An ability I have. Well, look, more of these guys. Here, let's catch one. I, I, I keep saying everything's the last one, but... Uh, would it let you jump off the cliff? Probably. Okay, Nimble. Let's take it easy this time. Look at that. Did you see Walt's hand just reach out there? Screech. Ha! Our pecs are way too big. We're so muscular, we've got pecs on our ears. Okay. Catch it with Pokeball. Boom! Oh! <laughs> Not even one shake. Man, a big Pex is a great ability. Why don't we use a heal ball so bad? I don't want to use a heal ball. I want to use a Pokeball. I'm running out of battery on this anyway. One, two. Three. Got him. Jose Nyon just being some dude with really big pecs. <laughs> yeah, he's just a bird with huge, massive pecs, definitely. Nimble Claw. It's like the Quick Claw, but it's the Nimble Claw. The Grasshopper. I said Cricket earlier. Same thing. It has its third set of legs folded up. It has three sets. When it's in a tough spot, its Pokemon jumps over 30 feet using the strength of its legs. It's just like a real Grasshopper. It's his only power, yeah. He's a continuation of that strong-bodied starter thing that didn't go anywhere. I'm just gonna call him, uh, Grimble. Don't know why. I just wanna call him Grimble. Something that jumps. Or Grimble. <laughs> Luigi again. <laughs> nah, Grimble. Oh, it's got double kick. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. And it's brave and capable of taking hits. Okay, Grimble. Happy to have you. Do you think we need to have a, a bug type on our team of some kind at some point? I kind of feel like we do. As much as I like bug types, I don't 
often get to use them, just because a lot of them aren't very good, but... If we can find a good bug type, I want to use that. I mean, we had a good bug type in Shining Pearl until he died, but it was good otherwise. All right, we save. I just wish we could, like, copy this save file so we can use the other one to send these Pokemon to random people just for the sake of having a bunch of randoms of Pokemon saying original trainer Walter White. I just want to go... It, do they have, like, the, the random, uh, like, wonder trade in this? Oh, they call it surprise trade. Okay. We could do that right now and just wonder trade to people. <laughs> Here, let's give somebody Grimble. I keep saying I'm gonna end it and I keep doing one more thing. Alright. Oh, did they cancel it or something? Or is it trying to do it right now? Okay, it's gone. Okay, so while you wait, you can do other stuff. That's cool. Yeah, the name of Walter White should be... Yeah, exactly. We're trying to spread our empire to Sophie. <laughs> Enjoy Grimble, Sophie. Watch us get to something, like, insanely awesome. It's like a level 100. <laughs> okay, a Starly. Okay, I'll take it. I don't know if I can catch Starly. I'll take it, man. Enjoy. Mm-hmm. I bet you this is something that they got wonder traded or something, and they're just going through the list. <laughs> it's possible. Let's see. If it didn't belong to Sophie... No, this is her Starly. Okay. Well, thanks, Sophie, but uh, I'm going to wonder trade that one, too. Just because. I love wonder trading, man. It's fun. <laughs> it's level 50 Starly. If only it was 7, but... Yeah, Sophie's a client now. We're spreading it. After this, I'm going to make an effort to only wonder trade our own Pokemon and not wonder trade ones we've got traded to us, just for the lore of it, you know? That we're going to spread it, you know? Like, this is our way of uh, sending our crystal math. We just smuggle it on our wonder traded Pokemon. <laughs> That's how it works. Alex. Everyone's got these basic names, man. Just kidding, but... Oh, it's the parrot! Fills me with sadistic joy. Squawkabilly. Is its name Squawkabilly or did they nickname it that? No, okay, its name is Squawkabilly. <laughs> it's the pelvis. All we're selling by doing that is that. Yeah, live in cities based on the color of their feathers. They fight over territory. Sweet. Squawkabilly. That's a that's quite the name. It's quite the name. Is it too early to have this? I don't know. It's level 14, so probably not. <laughs> it's about comparable to everything else we have. Oh my boy. I'm not Chadot. I'm Squawkabilly. And I have Aerialace. Pretty epic. Pretty epic, man. I wish people would at least nickname the things that they send out. I mean, if they're just sending out random things for the sake of, a uh, wonder trading, I- Holy moly, that's like a- It's that claw thing over here. Look how big he is. He's huge. Oh, ah, 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 ah. I didn't want to fight it. I swear. Yes, Chadot used to be able to have real, uh, voice lines. Skidro! Then we'll stop, I swear. Last thing is we're gonna fight Claw. 
they, they scrapped it because people would, would curse and say other offensive things. That's exactly what happened. Harden. Okay, um... Do I have a non-physical grass move? I don't think so, but... Oh, snap. Twenty minutes over here. I'm actually having a lot of fun with this, I'll be real. I mean, maybe they expected it, but they were just hopeful that it wouldn't become, like, a big enough problem for them to be forced to scrap it. I mean, and another reason they scrapped it is just because some of the systems don't have microphones after that, but... Well, no, that's not true. All of them did until the Switch, but... They could have kept it into the 3DS era, they just didn't because, you know, people were cursing and stuff. I don't know why they wouldn't have seen it coming, but either they didn't, or they just thought, eh, it'll be fun while it lasts. Ugh. My hope is I can wait him out until uh, Leech Seed finishes him off, which uh, that'll take a while. Because this cloth... This Mrs. Krabs over here, I was gonna say Mr., but it's a girl, is, uh, pretty tough. Okay, Loogie. Come on out. Why does it look like a mushroom? I, I, I still don't understand, but... Oh, Rock Smash! I forgot he had that. Doesn't matter. He's not a fighting type. When I first saw Cloth, I thought it was a robot. It looks kind of like a robot. Oh, that cry. Epic sounding. Mm. Ooh, Jesse wants waterfalls. Yet another good reason that I shouldn't have taught it, but... Okay, your attack is stronger, despite the fact that you have lowered attack. I guess it makes sense, but... Uh... Alright, I just won't teach it then. At least we dual ground, right? Ah. What? Jose Nyon! Double evolution, baby! You truly are the Hosenyon. Fletchender. Mm-hmm. Scatters them in tall grass and starts forest fires. Killing hundreds. Flame charge. Yes, sir. You're a physical attacker, not a special attacker by a long shot. So, uh, yeah, you're going to be very strong now. Our team's really coming together. We've already got a few ones that I'd like to keep around uh, permanently. I think Jose Nyon would be a good one. Honestly. Okay, now before this gets out of hand, that's gonna be it. We get a new fried bird just before Thanksgiving. Just not one to eat. Indeed. We're not even gonna eat turkey on Thanksgiving anyway. We're having chicken. Because chicken's better. Yeah, this thing in Skid Row... Those, these are Pokemon you haven't used because you didn't play much Gen 6. Yeah, that's exactly right. <laughs> it's because they were introduced in Gen 6, and I didn't use them when I played Gen 6. And they haven't been featured super prominently after that, which is why I didn't end up using them. But uh, now's a good chance to use them now. I don't know if I'll keep Skid Row permanently, but I'm keeping Jose Nyon for sure. Yeah, we can make up for that. I would have definitely played more of Gen 6 if they released Z, but they didn't. Oh, earlier, I played the Got To Be Kidding Me sound effect. Oh, you would have heard it, because the desktop audio is still turned up. The, the desktop audio was up the whole time. Either y'all didn't notice or it wasn't a big problem. That's fine. Uh, Town Flame is ridiculous, and I'd say Go-Go is slightly underrated. Yeah, Town Flame is awesome, a competitive champ, so I have heard. But, all the same, uh, thanks guys for watching. Hope you had fun. I did. Yeah, you heard it fine, because uh, the desktop audio was still up. But apparently it wasn't uh, causing any like weird uh, mirrored sound effects, right?
Next stream Saturday? Uh, no. Uh, I can stream this again on Friday. I just can't stream it tomorrow because of uh, Thanksgiving. I want to spend time with the family and all, but... It was fine. That's good. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I guess I don't need to turn down the, the desktop audio that much. Okay, then. <laughs> yeah, I can't stream it tomorrow because of uh, Thanksgiving. And I do have work. I, it's because I have work on... Uh, I have work on that day on Thanksgiving. So I want to have as much time to enjoy Thanksgiving as possible before I uh, head to work. But uh, then Friday should be fine. Stream on Friday. No big deal. I, I won't I won't make that a regular thing where I'm streaming Pokemon on Fridays, but uh, it's just what's been happening. So uh, next stream Friday. Catch you guys then. No stream on Saturday, I believe. Uh, because I think they said we were taking the, the week off from that. I think. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll ask them when they're here tomorrow. <laughs> and tell you, but... Uh, so no Wiccan streams, uh, right? Just wanted to clear that up because, yeah... I think you may have it confused with Thursday. No, yeah, I, I, I don't. Because, uh... Tomorrow's Thanksgiving. Shogun Ellie will, will be here for that, but uh, no stream tomorrow because tomorrow's Thanksgiving. Then we'll stream Friday, and then we won't stream Saturday because uh, I think they just needed to take the, the weekend off from that. But I'll ask them tomorrow and uh, let you guys know on Friday for sure. Yeah, so far, so good. <laughs> I'm, I'm actually kind of enjoying this game, genuinely, so far. I've gotten uh, so enthralled in it, I've been streaming for two and a half hours. Just I'm, I'm just like a... Oh, I'm gonna do the next thing. I'm gonna get this thing done, you know. But uh, I guess we'll carve a path to the the first gym leader would be our our main goal, or try to take on the the cloth titan. I <laughs> uh, work Friday at the usual streaming time, so I'll try to catch you for a few minutes next Wednesday. All right, cool, cool. Uh, next thumbnail, Jesse's new look. Uh, definitely should be on there. Definitely. I don't think we had anything else that could be uh, especially. Useful with five wanted stars. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'll put the five wanted stars over him. And I'll also put that uh, epic picture of Walter when he was doing the spin throw with the, the crystal ball. That will be there for sure. And boy, I hope I, I... If I have the opportunity, I'll try to get the Walter sound clips, but I might not have the, the chance. Might not. We'll see. The trade, maybe? Oh, yeah, the trade. <laughs> that would also be good. I'll work that in there too. We're going to make that a core tenet of this series where we're just going to be catching Pokemon and then wonder trading them out. For the, the crystal math, yes. We need to have some kind of crystal item that we can give to them to hold and then trade them out with that. I'm sure there's something we can find. Sure, sure. And to end every stream. Oh yeah, we'll just end every stream, make it a stream ending tradition. We'll just wonder trade something out. Yeah, yeah. I like the sound of that. So, yeah. Gonna be it, guys. Thank you. Thank you. But till we meet again, I'll catch y'all in the next live stream. Later. Thanks, Dad. There we go. And outro. Engage. <laughs>